they can do for others. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 10. I'm Steve Moore. And I'm Rebecca Little. 7 News reporter Colin Roos talked to a student who was just named West Virginia's representative for a gathering of future stars in the world of medicine. For high schoolers, oftentimes the key to the future comes through the Postal Service. So I got a letter in the mail about three weeks ago and um, I was surprised at first because it said it was coming from Harvard Square. Sometimes it's a letter of acceptance to the college of your dreams. And I was like, like, what is this, you know? But other times, it's an invitation to grow that you weren't prepared for. And it was like, congratulations, you know, you've been um, nominated to represent West Virginia at the Congress of Future Medical Leaders. Alexis Dijon Domenico still has another year and a half to go at Wheeling Park High School, but she's already drawn the roadmap for her career. She sees herself studying anesthesiology, helping people manage pain during serious operations. It was that ambition, along with her excellent grades and leadership skills, that led her to be named to the Honors Only Physician Program. And I was like, wow, this is a really big opportunity for me to like get more knowledge in the field. The Congress of Future Medical Leaders gives college-bound students a chance to learn from established doctors and motivate each other to move forward with their passion. They get to observe a live surgery and see the latest scientific breakthroughs to let them get a glimpse of what the profession will look like once they get there. Some of them are really cool and I hope one day that I can be a part of it and I hope that I can develop some new advances for the medical field and really change it for the better. While today's health problems seem almost impossible to overcome for most of us, they aren't for Alexis. She says getting where you want to go in health is possible with focus and studying. I would say go for it. I would say don't let anybody hold you back. Alexis didn't, and now she's primed to become a medical leader just when the world needs them the most. Reporting in Wheeling, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thanks, Colin. The Congress will happen virtually this upcoming March. Alexis will be presented with an award after completing a test at the end of the conference.